from your local news channel. Live at 6.30 starts right now. Good evening, I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. Fiesta is just days away and organizers of official and unofficial events are planning every day to make sure they're COVID safe. And News Channel's Tracy Lair joins us live from Santa Barbara. And Tracy, safety is front and center. It is, and I'm at a private Fiesta themed event in Santa Barbara that's with the Association of Realtors, and we caught up with La Presidenta here. We also touched base with the Public Health Department, and they say people will want to have masks outside during Fiesta events, and here's what La Presidenta had to say today. What we want them to know is Old Spanish Days and myself, La Presidenta, we are um, committed to having a safe Fiesta, no matter what our Fiesta week looks like, um, we are taking everything, all the precautions that the health department has given to us, and we will have a news conference tomorrow morning at 1130 at the Old Mission. And we don't know what they're going to say at that news conference, but we'll be there to cover it. We also know that the Our Lady of Guadalupe, that is a church Mercado that's not an official Fiesta event, but they will be doing their Mercado and food at that church this weekend, but they will be limiting the number of people coming in and they will ask for mass as well. And back out here live, the Spirit and the Junior Spirit are here dancing and they did downsize this private event as well, but we will have more information on how to make Fiesta Old Spanish Day safe for you coming up this week when everything kicks off on Wednesday. Reporting live in Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair. All right, thank you, Tracy. San Francisco's historic cable cars are back. They were suspended in 2020 because of the pandemic. To celebrate the comeback, San Francisco residents and visitors can enjoy a month of free rides. Officials say the cable cars should be back to full service sometime in September. In the meantime, the mayor is asking riders to be patient and understanding while the cable cars become fully operational. Health officials in San Francisco and six other Bay Area counties now require masks again in all indoor public settings. This applies to everybody, regardless of vaccination status. Indoor mask mandates are already in effect in Los Angeles and Sacramento counties. Last week, state health officials recommended everybody wear masks indoors, but are not currently requiring it. The United States reaches a goal that President Biden had hoped to reach by July 4th. 70% of adults have that now received at least one COVID-19 vaccine dose. This milestone happened as the highly contagious Delta variant surges across the country. As Lucy Kavanaugh reports, many city and state health officials are trying to urge precautions. Across the nation, more vaccines are going into arms. As of Sunday, more than 700,000 doses administered daily for five days straight. The good news? Health experts say rising vaccination rates could help avoid winter lockdowns. The bad news? There may be rough weeks ahead. We're looking to some pain and suffering in the future because we're seeing the cases go up. We want to avoid lockdowns at all costs, but that means we're going to have to do that things that won't necessarily be welcomed by people. Across the country, mask mandates going into place even for people fully vaccinated. New York City's Mayor Bill de Blasio says he's focusing on vaccinations, but is following the CDC in issuing an indoor mask recommendation, but not mandating them. We want to strongly recommend that people wear those masks indoors, even if vaccinated. COVID cases are surging, in large part due to the spread of the highly contagious Delta variant. Half the cases last week were reported in just five states, Florida, Texas, California, Louisiana, and Georgia. Cases have gone up about fourfold in the last couple of weeks. We're pushing up towards 100,000 cases a day now, and particularly so in those hot spots where vaccination rates are still quite low. Hospitals in Louisiana and Mississippi overwhelmed. Health officials in Austin, Texas, preparing for the worst. It's scary what we're seeing right now. Uh, we're seeing geometric uh, climbs in our intensive care units. Uh, we're, we're, we're literally beginning to, to, to question whether we have the, the capacity to be able to sustain this. A new analysis by the Kaiser Family Foundation found that less than 1% of fully vaccinated people contracted COVID-19. According to the CDC, less than one thousandth of one percent of fully vaccinated people experienced a breakthrough case resulting in death. There are some breakthrough infections among vaccinated. You expect that because no vaccine is 100 percent effective. 
but in the breakthrough infections, they are mostly mild or without symptoms. A millions of Americans face eviction now that a federal ban has expired. The response from lawmakers and the administration that's still ahead from your local news channel live at 630. And it's going to get windy tonight. We are expecting sundowner winds really for areas just west of Goleta. I'll look at your full forecast coming up.